It's about this point during my original playthrough of this game that I made the comment. I don't know what it is about this time around, but something about Claire I'm finding more and more attractive. It's like I've never noticed her before. I mean, she's always been a reasonably attractive female character, but just this time, something's doing it for me about her. And she became my permanent second favorite game character of all time after this. First, still being Jill. So there's some handgun bullets, two packs that I missed, and that hallway we are going to have to go down again. The hallway I was saying we wouldn't have to go down again. Which is fine because that's where one of the handgun packs is. Here. I've realized when going throughout this LP doing live commentary... I have trouble articulating my thoughts. A lot of times I get distracted by the game or I'm trying to keep in mind what I'm going to do and I'm totally pulling a Shatner there, starting to talk and then having to stop and remember what I'm saying. <laughs> oh my god. Well, that's okay I guess. I did enjoy the original Star Trek, somewhat. Trying to be careful because there is a zombie lying face down somewhere in there. I guess it's kind of like a trap to get it to grab and bite your ankle and whatnot. So there is another green herb over there. I will pick it up on our way out of here. I'm gonna leave it there right now. The only thing I can really remember I wanted to talk about was the grocery thing. I can't remember everything that I wanted to talk about. Not me. Ah, I knew he was going to do the lunch. I tried recording this already once, and he did it. It was a different zombie that time, though, so... Yay for variety, except it's still one we've seen. Apparently, I don't have an auto lock-on on this game. I thought there was. But maybe that was the DualShock version, which is what I'm used to playing. Oh, God. up, Claire. Back that thing up. Okay, I still hear some shuffling. Where are you? Stop. You got me. You got me. Oh, you little sneaky sneak. Oh god, there's it's still alive. It's still alive. Die! <sighs> this is the stuff you don't get in post-commentary, though. Okay, so how's my health? Not great. Fortunately, I've got a green herb that I can use. There's also a red herb over here. There were things I forgot, but one of the things I did want to mention, just because I started talking about spending a bunch of money on groceries, most of it was groceries. Actually, I was wrong. Groceries, clothes, and liquor is what I spent $500 on. Do I need to heal? Eh. Probably best I do. I think that's the first health item of the game. Claire, come on, work with me. Please. I started mentioning that I had a friend of mine take me to a grocery store. I live too far away from a grocery store, not within walking distance. And I don't really want to deal with trying to take groceries on the bus. I thought there was a first aid spray in here, but apparently there's not, which is cool. So if I could navigate this game okay, I might be able to get out of here before this happens, but I'm probably not going to be able to do that. There's a door right there, Claire. What? Why? Thank you. All I wanted. I really want to kill that thing, but I've tried recording this once already, and it wasn't happening. I took the same amount of damage, but I wasted no handgun bullets, so that's cool. There's another door on the other side of there that... I'll have to try to show off with Leon, because I don't feel like going back over there. 
I was going to show it actually, but just forgot. Oh, I'm not going back now. Another green herb. There's another liquor in there too, but there are handgun bullets. Are there... This is random, but I feel like there might be. For some reason, I thought there might be handgun bullets there too. I guess not. All right, so now we got that. But yeah, so I don't live near a grocery store, so I have to use grocery delivery. Which isn't too bad, but it does mean that there are certain things I just can't get because I just, I don't trust somebody else picking them out or they're going to get the wrong thing or if they need a replacement item, they're going to get the wrong thing. You want to kind of go with your basics. So I try to stock up on stuff whenever I can get a ride somewhere. How many herbs do I want to take? You know what? One is fine. No, you know what? I'm gonna actually hang on both of those. And I want the bogus. Yeah, that should work. I have a theory about this bow gun. It might actually be useful in what I gotta do next. I did try this once already, and I think it would have worked, but I wasn't prepared for her to not auto target enemies. It looks like that's what I'm having to deal with here. I don't remember that from my original playthrough. But I was also using infinite ammo. There's another... Claire, I love you, but I really don't care about your observations. I want the bullets. Thank you. <sighs> can't believe I called her Claire Bear. God damn it. Oh well. We're moving on. So that's why the massive amount of money got spent yesterday. I mean, I did spend a fairly good portion on liquor. It was only probably about a third of the cost, and a hundred dollars of that were two really big bottles of Crown. I still can't believe I spent that much money. Alright, so come over here. We can delete that key get rid of that key whatever so what i want to do if it'll let me and i don't think it's going to where are you going claire where are you going um probably should stick with the crossbow but that's cool. dead Okay. That actually worked. Sweet. All right. I'm not saying a zombie's not going to come around a camera angle and eat me, but you know. Okay. I like to show all areas I can in the games. However, I show that off in Resident Evil 3. So I'm not going over there. I'm not dealing with those zombies. Fuck it. No, I would like to open that. Thank you. Awesome. So the whole reason I bring that up again is just that I started the thought last video and I did want to kind of explain a little more about what I was trying to get in on why I spent so much at a grocery store. Like $75 on clothes, $140 on liquor, everything else was food. Oh, well, there's more $450, not $500. But whatever, it's still a lot of frickin' money. Okay, Claire, I need you to turn around. A face only a mother can love. Well, awesome. There's no quick turn in this game. I tried this before and just kind of backed out. Come on, Marvin. Where are you at? Come this way. Do your little shuffle. In the meantime, using an herb. Use the right one. Yeah, anytime you want to die would be awesome. 
Okay, so you pull a blood, so we're good. Probably one of the few times I can actually say that in life. Here. There's a little. I need that. A little memo. I think she's just saying there's a picture of his family or something like that. I can't remember. It's been a while. It's been a while. Oh, sorry. But yeah, I like to show areas off in games, but I had some issues with the zombies that were over in the area before. There is a photo that you can pick up. I can show that off in Leon's campaign. I probably will. He has a shotgun, so it's a whole lot better than the crossbow. Although I do like that they give characters... Where do I need to go? Upstairs, I believe. I like that they give each of these characters different weapons just to make their playthroughs somewhat different. But Leon's weapons are so much better than Claire's. You'd think the grenade launcher would be awesome, but it's really not. At some point, liquors show up over here. Kind of worried about that, but I guess we're okay. I'll try to show that off then. If you want me to show those photos, develop all those photos, I will pick them up in Leon's campaign. I did already get the Rebecca one this campaign, so I won't do that one. I need the crossbow. Nah. I might take it later, but right now. I think it's good for when you're surrounded. And I think we're good with everything else. I'd like to save my game here, but I don't have enough slots to make multiple save slots on this memory card. So I need to make sure the video comes out right before I actually save. Annoying, but what are you gonna do? Such is life of a Let's Player. I hope she will move on her own. Really? Oh, thank God she does. Pretty sure that would have caused a bigger explosion. But that's cool. Oh, look at that. Cleared a path. You know what that means. It's time to get naked. Well, you don't have to get naked. Naked's not a requirement. I'm not naked. I mean, you can be if you want to. I'm not going to see you. But I'm not. Hello? Oh, I'm terribly sorry. I thought you were another one of those zombies. Are you Chief Irons? Yes, that's me. And just who are you? No, don't bother telling me. It makes no difference. You'll end up just like all the others. That's the mayor's daughter. I was told to look after her. But I failed, miserably. Just look at her. She was a true beauty. Her skin nothing short of perfection. But it will soon putrefy and she will turn into a zombie within the hour like all the others. There must be some way to stop it. In a manner of speaking, there is. Either by putting a bullet through her brain, or by decapitating her completely. And to think that taxidermy used to be my hobby. But no longer. Please, I'd really like to be alone now. Yeah, that's Chief Irons. He is a creeper, as we've already kind of got the impression from some files we've got. I don't know if we've got all of them yet. One of them, I think it was that secretary's file, talks about how he was looking very weirdly at a painting of a woman being tortured or something like that. And I'm guessing that's supposed to suggest that he likes to kill and stuff girls and probably fuck them. 
guess I'm not going to talk, but I don't like killing or stuffing girls, so, you know, that just seems wrong to me somehow. I think we can walk straight through here, but I just want to show more of the area. Okay, so we get a little running sequence. Cool. So, yeah, you come back this way, and there we go. So, you can go straight there. Uh oh, dark room! I want to yell, kill, die, die, and start shooting off the machine gun like I did on my original playthrough, but I didn't bring it. So, can't do that this time. Turn the light on. I'm sure nothing but good things are going to be in here, but I got my gun at the ready, except I can't walk with it. Damn it, old games. Dino Crisis, you could do it. Wait. Let me go. Easy, easy there. I'm not a zombie. You're safe now. <laughs> Leon, come in. I found the girl, and I've cleared the wreckage that was blocking the corridor. Got it. My name's Claire. What's yours? Sherry. Do you know where your parents are? They both work at the Umbrella Chemical Plant, near the city limits. The chemical plant? Then... What are you doing here? My mom called and told me to go to the police station because it was too dangerous to stay at home. From the look of things, I'd say she was probably right. But it's dangerous here as well. You'd better come with me. But there's something out there. I don't know what it is, but I saw it. Much larger than any of those zombies. And it's coming after me. <laughs> What was that? That's what I was telling you about! It's here! Sherry, wait! Even in 1998, during cutscenes, Capcom was showing off characters' asses in cutscenes. And I approve. Ah. I know the crank is there on Leon's campaign. I thought just for shits and giggles, I would go ahead and look in case there was something there. And look at that. Health item. Sweet. Oh, I guess it wasn't a straight shot. Well, close enough. Whatever. I feel like there might be an item in there somewhere, but I'm not going to look for it. So now we get another staple of the Resident Evil series. Characters that just create problems for us. At least Sherry is just a child. Chief? So you can't really blame her. I mean, she's a kid. She can't help it if she's not that smart. Some of the other ones later on you're going to get in the series? Yeah. Not so much. And in about, let's see, 14 years? Sherry's going to be hot. It's okay for me to say that because I'm referencing Resident Evil 6. Part of me feels like I should play that campaign of that game, but I hate that game so much. It's just bloody awful for me to try to play. Now I'm trying to think, where do I need to go? Do I want a better weapon? No, it's going to do no good wasting time trying to figure it out. So, we're going to press on. I should probably save my game. But I'm already past the save spot, so can't. Can't be done! Oh, box. Okay, first time I'm going to be able to save this on this LP. I forgot something, so I will be right back and I am going to save. Okay, I did something kind of stupid. I saved my game. I only have the one save slot. It looks like I got both herbs. Cool. So I hope everything works out okay with the recording or I'm going to be upset. What I will try to do is get one of my other memory cards working. Thankfully, we can discard that. 
before the next session so I can start doing that. There was just no room on the one I'm using right now. I put another one in and unfortunately it doesn't want to read. And yeah, I brought the Gatling gun. There's a thing I'm going to use it on here coming up. I don't necessarily have to, but I feel like it'll be fun to do. It's certainly going to shoot a lot faster than the handgun, at least once it gets charged up. So I want this thing here. I definitely recommend you use the cord here. There are two shutters you can use it on. I feel like one is kind of a trick. Zombies are going to bust through both of these. But the other one is in that corridor that we've gone through several times. I keep saying we're not going to have to go down anymore. Which we're not going to now. Finally. So there's no sense in going ahead and getting... Wasting your time using the cord on there when we're not going back down there. Yeah, you may not be able to see them because they're not on screen. We got a new enemy. Dogs. Normally I'm a fan of dogs, but not these bitches. I think they're going to jump out at me and get me either way, so... Well, try to make a run for it. You're a dick, you know that? I go through the door. Thank you. You know what? Revenge. I let the liquor get away with hitting me. I'm not letting some damn pooch get away with it. And Gatling gun. Taste my bullets of justice! Oh, crap. There we go. Ha! Fucker. And that green herb did not completely heal me. That's not good. It's okay, we're almost done with what I want to do for this video. Technically, there is one other thing I want to do, but I feel like it's going to get me killed. It is an herb. Which I will go ahead and... No, you know what? I'm actually going to use this green. There we go. I will combine that red herb with one of the green herbs I have in storage. down there. Alright, I will worry about those dogs later. I don't know if there's a key item we need to pick up to trigger this next thing. I highly recommend one, get through this door and two, save your game. Save your game here. Unless you're good at this game. Let me just do a one over... I'm pretty much going to end the video here unless I do the next section without dying. So otherwise I'm going to have to turn on a game chart, which I guess there's nothing in here. Huh. Are there at least ink ribbons? There are. Cool. Awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and save my game here. Right. Game is saved up. I did some inventory stuff, so hopefully you'll actually see this recording and I actually succeed at what we need to do. But probably not. Sherry, I've been looking everywhere for you. I was so worried. We've got to go now, honey, okay? If we stay here, that monster will find us. Let's go. No, I won't. What's the matter? <laughs> Don't you trust me? It's not that, Claire. It's because of my daddy. He's over there. I heard him call my name. Daddy must have been attacked by the monsters. I have to help him. Wait, Sherry. Don't go alone. Sherry! Sherry! Well, crap. So now we have to play as Sherry. 
I hate this section. If you play this clear B, you get zombies. So it's a whole lot easier to deal with what we've got to deal with. I'm going to check the map a lot. It's a whole lot easier with zombies because zombies can't actually reach down to grab Sherry. All they can do is spit vomit at her, which isn't that deadly. I know there's a quit map button. I don't know what it is. Okay, where am I? I don't even see my position. That's not good. Oh, there I am. If I go straight, I should... Door. You're a dick, you know that? There's a door right there. Go through it. Okay. You know what the crappy thing is? For those familiar with this game, if I die, because there's one other thing to pick up. You don't have to, but I want to show it. Well, all right, there's a map you can get, but there's really no point. Okay, there we go. If I die, I get to do this puzzle again. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to that. Fortunately, I saved. When I originally played this, I was pretty stressed because I did not save my game. I intended to save my game. Now, I really should have moved the other crate over first. Hopefully that's good enough. If not, then I'm going to be making this thing take longer than I intend for it to. That's okay. Y'all don't mind watching me fumble around with stuff. Right? Right? I know. Get on with it! Speed run, guys! Speed run! Okay, hopefully that's in place. I think it is. It did just take me forever to see where I needed to stand in order to drop down. I'm good at games, I promise! I promise! You believe me, don't you? Please? Where's my health? We're still fine. We're doing good. My original attempt at doing this. I didn't die, actually. But I raged a lot. It's kind of funny. I like how they do the animation there since she's a lot smaller. We're going to have to do this as another character in Leon's campaign. Now we'll pick up the map. Cool. I would take the play as Ashley section in four over this any day, and I hate that section. And raise that up. Because the box puzzle, pushing puzzle we had to do in the first game was so popular that they had to bring it back for this and put it in remake. I <laughs> mean, we wouldn't want to come up with something a little better. <sighs> Take controls. My arch nemesis. Okay. Key. Now I gotta not die. I can do this. I'm gonna tell myself, like the newest version of Lara Croft, I can do this! I can do this! Just keep telling myself that! God. Excuse me, doggies. Can't see, can't see, can't see, can't see. Out of my way! Oh. Okay, that was partly my fault. I thought there was something else I needed to walk around. Oh boy. Okay, so there's something in here I want to get. I feel like I should just go ahead and use the aid spray, but if I can take one more hit, then, you know. Which I'm going to take another hit. Now I d oh I'm not not in danger yet. Run, Sherry, run! Run! Now I definitely want to use it. Okay, all right. Stop sunlocking me! All of that progress I made doing better than I did on my original run at this lost in this section here. It looked to me like I got stunlocked, but I'm not sure. I also had trouble getting on the elevator because I thought I was on it already. And this part is just ridiculous. Fuck this part. Claire! Are you there? Sherry, are you okay? 
Did you find your dad? Yes, I'm okay. But I couldn't find him. But I did find something else for you. Here! Here's another. Thanks, sweetie. Now, why don't you come over here? I want you to stay with me. Claire! I can't reach the ventilation hole anymore! But don't worry, I'll find another way. I can take care of myself! Wait, Sherry, come back! Sherry! Sherry! Damn it, kid! Get back here! Listen to your elders! I want to make a joke about her, and I would be referencing her Resident Evil 6 version, but I will just have to play her campaign in Resident Evil 6 before I make that joke. Anyways, let's pick up stuff. No, I'm not doing that this go around. I'm a perv and all, but I'm not that bad. Although I do find wrong humor funny. Okay. That would have gone significantly better than my original run, and I still feel like it did. Except, I don't know, I'm guessing I got stunlocked in that last little area there. I couldn't really see what was happening, except I was getting mauled to death. I'm guessing Sherry's on dying status, but, or in danger. Either way, we're here. I'm going to end this video. Thank you all very much for watching. I am thankful I managed to do that on one go-around. And I will see y'all next time with more Resident Evil 2.